Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create face mesh using MediaPipe and OpenCV Python. So we have already seen the demo of our output, right? So let's move on with the installation of packages. So open CMD or command prompt and uh, write pip install, pip install MediaPipe. Okay, MediaPipe. Press enter and it will install media pipe for you and uh, i recently came across this uh, package and uh, i'm in love with this package it has some really amazing classes and you'll see a lot of videos on this uh, media pipe package like hand tracking and uh, feature detection you'll see a lot of videos in the future okay so we have installed media pipe and uh, let's also install open cv i guess it come uh, it will be in installed with uh, media pipe only but uh, just to make sure you can also uh, also install open cv okay so it's called uh, open cv python right open cv python okay so this command will install open cv python for you with the requirements being satisfied let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code but before that let's have a word from our today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by An Academy. For all those who wants to become a software developer or have just became a software developer, An Academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live. Some of the shows that are going live soon on An Academy are hiring updates in startup and major tech companies, their eligibility criteria and how to apply for them, how to approach code chef, pre-placement talks where HR from top companies come and talk about their hiring process. Top 20 questions which are asked in interview and how to solve them. Accelerating development by using real life projects, something which we also do on our channel. And a life journey of fellow coders working in FANG. And many more shows like this, you will also have an option to interact with industry leaders on the platform and get a chance to take part in online mock tests to sharpen your skills and get real-time feedback. You'll get all of this and much, much more at a fee of 9.99 rupees for an entire year. And if you use my code, you will get an additional 100 rupees off which will make the total to 899 for a year. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me go to editor and show you that how you can apply this coupon code and how you can access all of these courses and live sessions. So this is the home page of uh, an academy of uh, career as a software developer. And uh, I'll provide this link in the description. You need to uh, click on this get subscription button and uh, you'll land to this page. You have to write the coupon code here. Currently, I am given this code, an academy. Okay. You need to apply this code and uh, you will get an instant 100 rupees off. Okay. Now, if there is any change in the coupon code or if there is a increased coupon value, I'll provide everything in the description. Okay, then let me go back and show you some of the courses, right? Some of the live session that are currently going on on uh, Unacademy. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that these are the educators on this platform. You can read their bio. Then uh, these are the courses that are upcoming in the future, right? And these are available courses. Here you can see. Now let me open, uh, let's say this one. Placement trips and hacks, uh, tips and hacks. Now this course is by Anshul Bansal. And uh, in this course, Anshul will explain you some of the placement tips. Like uh, how to answer a question and some of the small details that you can use in your actual interviews. Okay. And as I've already told you, these are interactive sessions. So you can really get your questions answered here okay and if we are talking about live session there is currently a very interesting live session going on it goes live on every saturday 9 pm and it's by love kumar and here what love does is he takes some of the top question asked in companies like facebook apple netflix amazon and linkedin and answer them in such a way that is understood by most people and you can also get a chance to come live with love and get your questions resolved on the spot. This live show is for the college students who are looking to get placed in top companies or working professional who wants to switch their careers. 
right so i'll provide all the links in the description definitely check them out and actually before i close this sponsor section this is the schedule of an academy let me zoom in yeah this is the schedule of uh, an academy these are all the live session mentioned here by the day so you can screenshot this or you can check their website also so getting back to the project now i'll do the same thing that i have done in my previous projects also i'll copy paste the code here and explain you step by step all the uh, lines of code okay so first of all we have imported our packages first is cv2 which is open cv and second is media pipe with a short notation of mp so wherever we are using this mp variable we are referring to media pipe okay now what we are doing is we are accessing the face mesh class from media pipe dot solution dot face mesh okay so class which is present in face mesh which is present in solution which is present in media pipe we are creating the class instance here so face mesh is the class instance then we are getting the input from our webcam okay so we are using cv2 dot video capture method from opencv to get the input from our webcam you can use multiple methods here i've shown on my channel multiple methods from which you can get the input whether it's a wireless Arduino module or your mobile camera I have created video for all of them I'll provide the link in the description if you want you can check them out but here we are taking the input from our webcam okay then we are creating an infinite loop because we are getting the input from the webcam and we want it to be keep going until we want it to stop so we also have a exit condition here that I'll explain you afterwards okay we are reading the data from our webcam so video dot read video is the variable in which our input data is stored so these are two variables and we want only frame so you can ignore check here because we won't be needing it in our project okay then for a second just ignore this line okay just ignore this line and uh, move to this command so we are calling the process class from this face mesh this uh, face mesh class that we have called above and from which image we want to detect we want to detect the face from a input video now we have two problems with this face mesh class of media pipe okay two problems related to open cv first thing is it is present in bgr format right it is present in blue green red format and open cv uses rgb so we have to convert it into rgb before we display it to the user otherwise it will be a weird uh, stream of video which we do not want and the second problem is the coordinates provided the uh, face location the face landmarks provided by this uh, face mesh class is in the form of screen ratio like let's say that this screen is 500 this screen width is 500 so what this face mesh class does is it says that at 0.5 or at 50 percent of the screen of the uh, width or of the x-axis we have the point of the nose so we do not want the ratio of the screen we want the exact x and y coordinate so we are doing something here now we can come back to this class so what we are doing here is we are converting the ratio into coordinates and how we are doing that First of all, we are getting the height and width and after we got the height and width, we can get the coordinates, right? Because if we know the height and width and also the ratio at which a specific uh, face landmark is present, we can get the coordinate by multiplying to that ratio. So first of all, we have to get the height and width of the screen. So how we can do that? By dot shape class this dot shape class has three values we are only interested in the height and width okay then we are having a try and accept condition the try is when the face is present in front of the camera and accept is when there is no face in front of camera okay so first let's see the try condition so for facial landmark this is a new variable name in results this result is having the process data from our input dot multi face landmark and this is where the magic happens this will return the ratio of all the face landmark actually there are 468 i guess yeah 468 facial landmarks that media pipe provide us from a chin 
to a four head. So we need to go from zero to four sixty eight. So this is why we are creating for loop for i in range zero to four sixty eight because we want to draw all the uh, facial landmarks. If you want to draw any selected number of landmarks, you can specify that range. Here. Then facial landmarks dot landmark of what of the index i. This landmark will have two values, the x and y. So we'll extract this by this formula log x is the location x and log y is the location y landmark dot x landmark at at axis which is the ratio of the width into the width variable which is the width of our screen and we'll do same for the height so we got the x and y coordinate of the face landmark then what we have to do is i have address the two problems we have already solved one problem the face mark ratio one we have to solve the second one which is blue green red format used in media pipe so we are using the cv2 dot cvt color class to convert the bgr into rgb okay so bgr to rgb blue green red to red green blue then we want to draw the circle at each facial landmark now the cv2 color dot circle class have these parameter first is the image on which you want to draw the circle second is the center coordinate the x and y coordinate at which the center of this circle will be present then we have the radius of the circle then we have color of the circle and then we have thickness what will be the border thickness of our circle Okay, then we are showing the output to our uh, user. We are displaying the output, and this is for the try condition when there is face present in front of the webcam. If there is no face present, then this accept condition will run, which will show the simple frame. Okay, then we have this exit condition here. We are creating a wait key, and this wait key is a Q. So whenever you will press this Q button, then only you can exit this infinite while loop. Okay, then we are releasing the video, and then we are destroying all the windows. Okay, so let me run this program once again and show you the output. Okay, so it's heavily pixelated because uh, I'm running a lot of softwares on my uh, laptop. So what I'll do is in the starting of the video only, I'll attach a small video which is the demonstration of how this facial sorry face mesh is working. Okay, I'll close all the software and uh, stop the recording and then uh, create a short video. Okay, so let me close this real quick or my laptop will burst. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, this was it. This was a short video. Actually, it was not short, but anyway, it was a video in which I have shown you that how you can create face mesh using Media Pipe and Python. And before I end this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Pyso's YouTube channel because I was searching for this uh, face mesh for a long time, but was not getting a accurate video or a simple video for our channel. As you know. On my channel, I upload simple projects, no complex one, no hi-fi projects, right? So I was looking for simplest explanation of this face mesh, and this was the channel which explained media pipe and face mesh to me very clearly. Okay, so huge shout out to Pi Source YouTube channel. Thank you.